since the chat gpt revolution uh, we've not had a very big breakthrough yet again um, I remember the first time using chat gpt how amazing it actually was uh, you'll just type something and it will just br uh, give you like a result where you're like wow um that was like very amazing technology uh, but ever since then we've not really had any actual big breakthroughs um even though it's been improving vastly um, and many many other companies um, ai companies have actually started have entered the fold uh, but now the problem came when um, a lot of companies um, became pressured um, if i could say um, to compete um, uh, particularly in the stock market um, a lot of companies especially technology companies um, were perceived to be behind in the area of AI so in order to compete with chat GPT they basically just started creating um, clones or, or started cloning chat GPT uh, to try and compete with it which was actually just a big mistake right so one of the big problems with this whole entire situation is that we've not been having any actual breakthroughs in terms of um, products that consumers would actually use um, in terms of uh, AI. So unfortunately, we're in an AI bubble, um, particularly in generative AI. Uh, yeah, so we still um, we're still a long way. Okay, maybe not a long way, but. We're still uh, a bit of a while away from um, like really huge breakthroughs and uh, we have like a number of constraints um, which are actually hampering progress right um, one of the, the problems are um, the costs right the costs around uh, machine learning um, uh, building LN LLMs um, in general, just generative AI, general AI, AGI, um, is probably the cost. It's extremely expensive from uh, the GPUs. Um, actually, the costs around just getting the data in which you, you train your LLMs around. Um, that's really been going up a lot. And uh, yeah, we're in a very interesting period. So now the problem is, um, I'm actually wondering, uh, when will the bubble stop? Or when will the Fed actually die out uh, to make way for actual genuine um, AI improvements? And uh, I, I predict maybe next year, next year or the year after that. Um, I saw a report not long ago in which they actually uh, predicted by 2025, at the very least, at least about 30% of investors are going to um, step out of uh, investing in AI, um, which is going to have a very big impact uh, moving into the future. So, yeah, it's going to be a very interesting period. Um, yeah, another problem that um, is probably just there lingering around is there's no really clear way in which companies are seeing um, profitability, clear profitability, uh, particularly open AI. Because um, currently, I think they they probably what like last I checked, a few months ago, I think there were like five billion dollars in the hole, uh, which is quite a huge number. And um, I saw some estimates um, from some some Altman uh, regarding how much they need uh, moving into the future, and I think they still need a few billion dollars uh, worth of investment to really progress to where he wants uh, OpenAI to get to. Uh, but we'll see what will happen with OpenAI. Um, my issue is not with OpenAI, it's with all the other companies. Because without any profitability, I don't see investors actually moving forward with um, investing in AI. In AI. Um, yeah, this will be interesting. Anyway guys, uh, those are my just thoughts for now. I was just wondering as to when this actual fad or the bubble part of AI will actually stop uh, to actually make way for actual projects in terms of AI, uh, in terms of AI uh, 